Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, an evangelist for Adobe, and I've got with me the HTC Evo, which is the very first 4G smartphone, and it has on it Android 2.2, codenamed Froyo, which means that we have access to Flash Player 10.1 and the full web of Flash-enabled content. Now, when you go to a site that has Flash but doesn't have Flash Player on the smartphone that you're looking at, what you can see, often see is a placeholder or a blank spot. But with Flash Player 10.1, you get access to the whole web, and that content works flawlessly inside the browser on this device. But we've also created a showcase site uh, at m.flash.com that has some links that have been of applications that have been optimized for mobile devices, as well as just content that works really well out of the box. And so you can see we've got a number of categories. And I can go ahead and do one of these featured sites. Uh, games is a big thing that people like to use Flash for. Almost 70% of games on the web are done in Flash. And Congregate has created mobile optimized versions of a lot of their games that I can access with Flash Player 10.1 on the Evo. So let me go ahead and do one of my favorite ones, which is Chroma Circuit. And so I can click this to go into full screen mode. So I get the complete experience, not necessarily stuck in, uh, in the smaller screen. So very similar experience to what you would have on the desktop. And it works really well for casual games, for just bringing this with you. And you can access it from anywhere because you have the ability to access the full web. Another great example of content that uses Flash a lot is video. There's a ton of video on the web that uses Flash and is created in H.264, which the Flash player renders very, very well. So an example of that is the Warner Brothers trailer showcase where Warner Brothers has put up a number of clips in Flash that you can access on any device that supports Flash Player 10.1. So here's a number of different movie clips that I can pick. Uh, let's see, Sherlock Holmes was a good one, so we'll play that one here in the browser. And you can see that I've got a mobile optimized interface for clicking the buttons, so the buttons are nice and big and touch enabled. And as soon as I click play, it's going to automatically take me into full screen mode so I can get a nice full screen experience for this movie trailer on a device like this one. If you want to see more great examples of Flash content running on mobile devices, check out m.flash.com. And for developers, if you want to develop content for mobile device in Flash Player 10.1, then check out the Adobe Developer Connection for everything that you'll need to get started.